All right, turning back to the heat now, we've run out of words to describe it, I think, but, you know, mainly here, it's just dangerous. So Lonnie Quinn is here to tell us, you know, how long these temperatures are going to stick around when we could see some relief. You bet you. You've got a real tough day again tomorrow, coupled with the fact that I think there will be some strong storms in the afternoon. Thursday's, you know, a, a real wet day, top to bottom, but it will be below that threshold of 90-degree heat. What I see right now, Lady Liberty is uh, is out there and we have a temperature of 87 degrees with a clear sky overhead but it's hot 87 right now feeling like 91 and New York City not alone Poughkeepsie right now you are feeling like 91 degrees high temp thermometer reading 95 for New York City 12 degrees above the average I told you 95 at 124 this afternoon felt like 100 degrees but with today's reading it's officially there's your heat wave started on or maxing out at the third day on Tuesday 90 on Sunday 92 Monday 95 on Tuesday official heat wave a bonus fourth day tomorrow at 95 degrees we do have storms out there as of right now they're just barely nipping at the northern fringes zoom in a little tight there if you don't mind G here we go all right just 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 nipping at the border there of of uh, Ulster County, Dutchess County as well. You're up around the ski areas. Uh, it's some pretty heavy rain coming down. It's a light show as well. This whole setup, okay, and what you see right there is more likely to be found tomorrow in our area because all of this fills in a bit and it will track a little more to the south. And we talked about how there's a chance for that to be severe. The severe weather risk is greater the farther north you go because I just showed you that's where it's originating. As for, far as how we see it on the computer models, here we go into your day on Wednesday and it's 6 p.m. All right, so you know how hot it can still be at 6 p.m. You know, nowadays with that sun angle that we have at this time of the year. Well, here comes that line of storms. This is 6 p.m. It loses a little bit of energy, but not all of its energy as it pushes to the south. I do think that's the highest risk north of the area for that severe weather where it can damage some of your property, but it's still holding itself together somewhat as it moves through the city, out through Long Island. Then you get to your day on Thursday. This is going to be a story because on Thursday, 1130 in the morning now, it's not late, the rain is kicking in. Could be some bouts of very heavy rain, possibly even over the metro areas at that time. Now watch as we go through Thursday. It's just different waves coming in. Yeah, all day you've got a chance at wet weather, even into Friday, and the rain totals look to be somewhere an inch, two inches, could be more in spots if you get those training showers setting up overhead. So a lot of rain for you, for you guys on Thursday, for me as well. 95 tomorrow. It's a heat wave, day number four. Strong th afternoon thunderstorms are a possibility. A very wet day with a lot of rain on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It just lingers, but notice this. The rain chances, yes, the cloud cover, yes, but your temperatures are in the 70s. Sunday, your 4th of July, it's just a slight chance for rain. But it is, look, I, I, it's not a zero. It's not a zero. There's a chance for some rain on the 4th of July. Guys, it's all yours. Okay, thank you, Lonnie.